Hello, my friends. Hello, and welcome once again to Stately Vaughn Manor. So today, we're going to be talking about the best and the worst of BookTube. Yes, I know the year still has a couple weeks left on it, but we're going to go ahead today and talk about the best and worst of BookTube 2021. It's going to be pretty scandalous. There's going to be some hard feelings and anger and bitterness, but we're going to do it anyway. I'm fearless that way. The best and the worst of BookTube. Now, I'm not including me in any of this. Because otherwise, I would just be the worst on everything. But I will, right now, I'll just talk about the best and the worst of my stupid channel. So, the best video I made this year was by far my review of Feral by Bertrand Rocher. Now, I know that's not how you say his name, but it sounds better that way. Feral by Bertrand Rocher, a terrifying novel of killer kitty cats. And my review of it was stellar. It is the best thing I ever did. It is the best thing I'll ever do. So that was the best thing I did. The worst thing I did was the top 20 novels ever written. I think that's what it was. It was something like that. And uh, that was the worst thing I ever did because that was a terrible mistake. First of all, it's a ridiculous thing to do. And also, because of the title, thousands of people have watched it. I mean, my videos don't usually get that many views. You know, they top out around 300-ish at the most, usually. This one got, is like, what? 7,000 views or something, and for me, that's a lot. For, like, other YouTubers, that's not much. But for me, that's a lot. Every hour of my life, somebody's watching this and commenting and telling me how wrong I am or how bad the video is or how come the kite runner isn't on this list, you dumbass, and other things like that. Uh, but, you know, it was kind of a tongue-in-cheek thing to do. I mean, ah, well, what do you do? But seriously, like... The first thing I, I pulled out uh, on that video was Video Night by Adam Caesar. So obviously, it's not going to be a super serious take on this stuff, but oh well. It was a dumb move. My worst video. And it really wasn't that well done either. So the best and worst of me. But now let's get on to the main event. The main event. So... I was wondering, should I even bother saying who the best booktuber is of the year? Because that might lead to some hard feelings right there. How do you choose among all of the great booktubers out there? Who do you choose as the greatest? Well, so I almost didn't do this category. And then I thought, ah, of course, it's James Holder. Of course, it's James Holder. James Holder is the greatest booktuber this year. He's the greatest booktuber every year he does booktube. So, of course, it's James Holder. I think we can all agree on that. So, yeah, James Holder. Of course it is. His channel's fantastic. Consistently. So, yeah, it's James Holder. And we all, we all live in his shadow, really. So, who's the worst booktuber? That was easy. I knew who the worst booktuber right away was. That was Rhonda Jones. Now, Rhonda Jones is a terrible booktuber. She's everything you don't want in a booktuber. She's impatient. Uh, she's got a bad attitude. She breaks off in the middle of her videos and goes and yells at people walking down the street outside the window. Uh, she's, I don't, her reviews are just strange. I don't really think she reads any of the books she talks about. I don't think she reads books at all, but she's all around a terrible booktuber. So Rhonda, jo Rhonda Jones, she's, She's the worst. So moving on, we're going to move on to the best booktube video of the year. The best booktube video of the year. This was a tie for the best booktube video of the year. Uh, I couldn't decide between these two videos. Um, but they're, they're both stellar. So the first video is 
plagued by visions when he dresses up as garbage and talks about the te top 10 most disgusting books. Plagued by Vision's top 10 most disgusting books. I mean, it was, it was brilliant. It was a great video. It was one of the best videos of the year. Uh, that is tied though. That is tied by Larry has opinions and his booktube news 500 subs edition that it speaks for itself it was a masterpiece uh larry has opinions that particular video i will i'll link all these videos down below so you can check them out but that was just on point my friend great video larry has opinions which brings me to the worst book two video of the year now, I think everybody will be able to agree on this one. This one was just a terrible video. It was shocking. It was horrifying. It was nightmarish. It was just cringeworthy, really. It was just a terrible, terrible video. And that was from Steve Donahue and his Epic Wednesdays, the world's greatest comic magazine, when he talks about the Fantastic Four. Now, the first 20 issues of the Fantastic Four are incredible. They are the world's greatest comic magazines. It says so right on the front of the comic book. But Steve Donahue shockingly just went on and on about how he thinks the first 20 issues of the Fantastic Four are no good, which is insane. That's insane. There's just... I'm baffled. And it was just nightmarishly awful the whole video where he goes on and on and on about this i mean he's wrong very often about comic books i mean i i don't know anybody who's who's wrong more often about comic books but this was the wrongest he's ever been by far the worst booktube video possibly ever made possibly so yeah that was the worst just the worst. So let's move on to tags. Okay, tags. Let's talk about the best single tag video, the best single original tag video. Uh, this was a tough one. There was some competition here, but I had to finally give it to uh, Shelly Swearingen for Are You Like Jane Austen? Her Are You Like Jane Austen tag. It was a great video. I mean, there was that scary part when her head's floating around you know, in the darkness, and that was a little, Ugh. but you know, the video itself was amazing, and it was an incredible tag, and everybody did it, because it was fantastic, uh, yeah, it was, it was incredible, the are you like Jane Austen tag, we all had fun with that tag, it was brilliant, Shelley Swearingen's, are you like Jane Austen, but the greatest achievement in tag videos, the greatest achievement in tag videos, of course, of course, goes to Jim's books, reading, and stuff with his alphabet tags, where he did a tag for every letter of the alphabet, and they were all good. It's, that's staggering. It blows my mind that that was done, and it was done so well. So I don't think there will ever be a greater tag achievement than the alphabet tag. And this coming year, I'm going to do all of the videos that I didn't do, all the tags for the alphabet alphabets that I didn't do yet. I think I only did a couple, uh, just to keep that tag alive. Because it's, the alphabet tags, they were amazing. So yeah, everybody loved those. Uh, staggering achievement. Uh, there, you know, as far as worst tag videos, you know, it's a funny thing. There were no bad tag videos this year. Weird, but there were no bad tag videos. I know, it's, I was surprised also, but you know, sorry. Maybe next year we'll have the worst tag of the year. Um, now let's move on to the best single book review. This, the best single book review. Uh, that would be, it's too late to apologize the book review for As I Lay Dying by Faulkner. Faulkner, who frightens me and confuses me, but this book review was amazing. 
I mean, a lot of her book reviews are pretty amazing. She does some of the best book reviews you'll ever see. Uh, so it was actually kind of tough to choose, but it, it's this one. Uh, incredible, incredible tag video. Uh, tag video, incredible, incredible book review video. It was fantastic. Uh, and as for the worst book review video, it seems to have, I must have forgotten to write it down. Darn, darn. Next year, next year I'll have a worst book review video. It was probably one of mine. Um, best book haul. What was the best book haul? Uh, this was another tough one. There have been some good book hauls, but really it has to go to Coffee, Cats, and King for his book haul to end all book hauls. And it really was amazing. So yes, Coffee, Cats, and King, the book haul to end all book hauls. The best book haul video of the year. I don't think I should get much argument for that. Let's talk about blogs though, or vlogs. Vlogs, let's talk about vlogs. What's the best vlog? The best vlog of the year? was actually a series of vlogs from A.J. Dunn reads and writes. The Wolf Hall reading vlogs. Yes, the Wolf Hall reading vlogs from A.J. Dunn, where you just hang out with cool A.J. Dunn. And, you know, A.J. talks about the book and will take you to lunch, and wander around and drive and do all kinds of cool stuff. Good vlog from A.J. Dunn, Reads and Writes. It's fantastic. Which brings us to the best at everything. It's the, who was the best at every single thing? Is there a booktuber out there who was the best at everything? Yes. Yes, there is a booktuber who is consistently the best at every single thing that she does, and that's Pax Panic. Pax Panic is good at everything. Everything Pax Panic does is solid. Vlogs are great. Uh, book reviews are great. Everything she does is great. I don't know that I've seen a video that wasn't fantastic from Pax Panic. You should go and subscribe right now to Pax Panic if you have not, because Pax Panic is amazing. I mean, just consistently knocks it out of the park always with everything. So Pax Panic is the best at everything. Uh, and which brings us to our final category. The greatest achievement in evil. The greatest achievement in booktube evil. What was the most evil thing that was done this year and which Criminal booktuber is responsible. That's right. It's Criminali. Criminali and his 100 book challenge. His challenge to read 100 books you already own before you buy any new ones. A spectacular, a spectacular success in villainy. This challenge. Now, he said in his video where he talked about this, that this was just something he was doing for himself quite innocently. It's just for me. Just for me, said Criminali. All the while, it was all part of his sinister plan. Yes, now all kinds of booktubers have been hoodwinked into doing this challenge myself. I am also a victim of this challenge. I cannot buy a single book. You know, except for that book I bought the other day, but I got a special dispensation from Criminali. But I cannot buy a single book until I read 100 books that I have already owned. And to make matters even worse, Criminali made this challenge for himself and he's already at book like 35 or something. He's just like, he just reads a book and it's, it's done. He reads like four books an hour or something. He reads so fast and I'm like, ah, I'm on like the fifth book. So that's terrible right there. Long after this challenge is just a memory to evil Criminali, I'll still be doing it. It was a mass, it was a master stroke. It was a master stroke of criminal genius though. I have to hand it to Criminali. He's a, 
He's a smart criminal. Eh. If he ever really wants to take over the world, he could probably do it in like a week or less. So that was it. That was the best and the worst. Okay, I skipped some of the worst, but I had a lot of best in there. So I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it's not too, too much of a scandalous video. I will catch you next time here at Stately Vaughn Manor. Bye, guys. You're the worst booktuber of all, little one. You're the worst booktuber of all.